if you ever hosted a cocktail party or worked at an event. This might look familiar. You're known as the cocktail guy amongst your friends, so you've come prepared. But people want something refreshing, delicious, and most of all, something fast. They don't have all day to watch your work. And shouldn't you try to work as efficiently as possible too? But how far in advance can you make citrus juice so it doesn't oxidize? And you can't even juice mint. Can you? But you work on. And then somebody says he heard egg whites make a really nice foam. Sure, you'd love to work with eggs. Outside, in the heat. But you do want to show them how good a whiskey sour is. There's got to be a better way! There is. Hi friends of cocktails. Today we are pre-batching sours. No more wasting time to make your summer favorites. You'll be able to make mojitos, margaritas and whiskey sours in no time. Yes, including the silky texture, the nice foam and all that. For that, we'll need things we made on the channel before. Mint cordial, super juice and most recently super syrup. With these recipes, you'll be able to make your favorite summer cocktail a week ahead. So, you know, no rush. But we'll start anyway. It's cocktail time. I'll first pre-batch all three cocktails, without adding water. Then I'll make a serving of each of them, to see how well they compare to what I'd expect to get if I ordered set cocktails at a cocktail bar. All of these batches will be made to be bottled in 700ml bottles, which is just under 24 ounces. I'll be weighing the ingredients in grams, to get the ratios just right, but I'll give you volumetric measurements as well. And to make it easier to scale up or down as you wish, I've added a pre-batched cocktails calculator to my website, where you simply put in the total volume you're going for and you get the amounts you'll need to mix together. Hopefully, that helps you get ready for your next party or just an awesome night of cocktails. Let's start off with the mojito, using the clarified lime and mint cordial, which will take care of the sweet, sour and herbal components of this delicious drink. I'll just quickly go over the preparation for the cordial, since the episode was posted over a year ago. After blanching the mint, place it in a blender with lime juice, lime peels, water, sugar and citric and malic acids. Blend everything, then filter it through a fine mesh strainer. In a portion of the liquid, dissolve and heat up agar agar, then pour in the rest of the liquid. This gelling agent will help with the clarification. After you thoroughly chill everything, then strain out the solids and you're left with a clear cordial full of lime and mint flavor. Like I said in that episode, if you clarify just the cordial instead of the whole cocktail, including the spirit, you keep the body and flavor of that spirit intact. And we want that in our mojito, so we mix it with rum now. All you have to do at the party is top it up with soda and garnish it. Let's pre-batch. I'm going for 3 parts rum to 2 parts lime and mint cordial. I used Havana Club 3 years for the original clear mojito episode, but Plantation 3 stars is a great option too. You can grab the bottles I'm using at koreada.com, 420 ml or 14 ounces. This was 400 grams of 41% ABV rum. For next 2 cocktails I'll only be using the scale, but this is how I measure the ingredients in advance when working on the recipes. Now instead of scooping the sugar or measuring out syrup, juicing the lime and muddling the mint, just add the lime and mint cordial, 280 ml or 9.5 ounces, which is 320 grams, and something will add to all three cocktails, saline solution. Just like in cooking, salt will enhance the flavors. I'm using 20 drops, which according to my high precision scale is 1.3 gram. Give the bottle a few turns to mix the ingredient in the bottle, and add a label if you wish. Place that in the fridge and you're good to go. But we're on to the pre batch cocktail number 2, the margarita. I was thinking of doing the daiquiri, but we've covered that cocktail recently and we already have one cocktail with rum on the list. Plus, you voted the margarita as your go-to summer cocktail to be the summer heat. So here it is. I'm of course using lime super juice, because it won't oxidize, which is usually the main pitfall of pre batching sours. You can check out the recipes for super juice in the most watched episode of Cocktail Time. And to help you with the math and ratios, make sure to use the super juice calculator on kevincoz.com. Now let's make a bottle of margarita. I'm using a 2 1 1 ratio, plus a touch of agave syrup. But here's where the scale comes in handy, because to fit the 700ml bottle and to keep the correct ratios, we're adding 332 ml or 312 grams of tequila at 40 ABV. That's 11 and 1 fifth of an ounce, if it helps. Follow that with orange liqueur. I'm using Contro, 166 ml or 174 grams. Again, that's 5 and 2 fifths of an ounce. 
Volumetrically, I'll add the same amount of lime super juice, so 166 ml, which is 172 grams. To balance the cocktail, a bit more sweetness. 37 ml or 40 grams of agave syrup. This one's easy for imperial measurements too. One and a quarter of an ounce. And lastly, same as before, 1.3 gram of saline solution. Or 20 drops, whichever is easier for you. Again, same as before. Turn the bottle, add the label, and you're done. And now for the big one. How do you pre-batch a cocktail that needs egg white? If you've seen the previous episode, you know the answer. Super syrup. This magic ingredient combines the sweetener and the foaming agent with methyl cellulose, gum arabic and xanthan gum, providing everything you'll need for the perfect texture and appearance of the king of sours. The ingredients sound complicated, but it's pretty easy to make, especially when you see how good this vegan alternative really is. With that, let's make a batch of whiskey sours. Don't worry about starting with the spirit, because you can't really mess up when measuring first. So 400 ml, 13.5 oz, or 370 grams of bourbon. I'll add the super syrup next, so I washed it out with the lemon juice later. 150 ml or 5 ounces over a combination of sweetener and egg white substitute. That equals 192 gram. Follow that with an equal volumetric amount of lemon super juice. 150 ml or 5 ounces, which is 154 grams. And again, 20 drops or 1.3 gram of 20% saline solution. That's one part salt to four parts water. Gently turn so you mix everything, but don't froth it up too much already. Label if you want and that's it. We have all three bottled cocktails, but they're not ready to drink just yet. Unlike a stirred cocktail, it's not enough to just add water, chill it in the freezer and pour it over ice. Mojito needs soda water, and for these two, we want the air texture you get from a well-shaken sour cocktail. Plus, shaking a cocktail is what people expect to see when you're making them a drink. No, not you, Mr. Bond. So let's see how easy it can be to make a mojito, a margarita and a whiskey sour without compromising on the quality. Again, I'm starting with the mojito. Into a chilled glass filled with ice, pour in 100 ml or 3 and a third of an ounce of soda water. Our pre-bash mojito mix is sweeter and it will mix with soda water as we add 75 ml or 2.5 ounces of it in the glass. Gently turn with a bar spoon, just in case. And garnish with a mint sprig and a lime wedge to hint what flavors the drinker can expect from this clear looking cocktail. Moving on to the margarita. If the ingredients have separated or layered a bit, just shake up the bottle before you pour. But this one is even easier than the mojito. Into a shaker, add 100 ml of your pre batch margarita mix. Add ice and shake like everyone's watching. Double strain into a coupe glass, rimmed on one side with salt. No need for extra garnish. Lime super juice is aromatic enough and the salt provides a visual texture as well. And lastly, whiskey sour. This is just as simple to measure as the margarita. 100 ml of our pre batch cocktail into a shaker. Fill with ice and we'll do a reverse dry shake. Methyl cellulose in the super syrup foams up nice when it's chilled first, so the second shake after we dump the ice will provide the thick foam we want to see on the whiskey sour. Double strain into a low bulk glass, fill with ice and garnish with a cocktail cherry. And just like that, you have three refreshing summer drinks without a bunch of sad looking mint, spent citrus husks or egg yolks and shells to clean up. You can of course apply these recipes for other sour cocktails too, like the Clover Club, Southside, Pisco Sour, Sidecar, Jim Fizz, you name it. Now, you could watch me taste all three of these cocktails, and I'd tell you that they taste just as delicious as the ones I make from scratch. Because they really do. Try it for yourself. But the best use for pre-batch cocktails is to share them with friends. So Robbie and Sasha will join me and we'll toast to making nearly 100 episodes of Cocktail Time. Time flies when you're having fun. Really does. And thank you for helping us reach this milestone. Shall we? Cheers. Yeah, cheers. Cheers. cheers.